can you talk for just a moment, um, uh, uh, Dr. Van Velsen, about inherent biologic differences um, that you might want to speculate be between um, follicular thyroid carcinoma versus papillary thyroid carcinoma and how age might play a role in, um, uh, in, in the underlying biology here. Have you thought through that at all? And do you have any um, comments related to that? Um, yeah, well, what we know and what we've seen in other, other studies that the patients with follicular thyroid carcinoma are, are, are indeed older. Um, so it might be that part of that is, is uh, part of their reverse prognosis due to that. And we know that that, that it also spreads differently. So so there are um, well at least there are usually no lymph node testes, but sure there are more distant metastases. So so, may, so it's probably had to do with the uh, how it's the spread um, um, through the blood and then and then then the distant testes. But yeah, I I, I a person still find it difficult um, why um, how, why the difference exists, but but, but in the end, um, we know that we now know or see that it exists. So I think for at least uh, for the same system, we should um, well, 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 well take care of that and, 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 and do the staging differently for uh, both tumors because other, because otherwise you you get get a model that's really um, based on on PDC instead of also on on FPC. So I think that's. That's one of the different um, uh, important things.